Hello, this is Norman Chait, Managing Principal of Nardis Advisors. Many of you know me and know the work that we're doing at Nardis Advisors as we focus on financial uh, asset management and planning for U.S. citizens that are living overseas and also people that spend time in the United States and may have left money there and have moved back to their countries of origin. We have a particular focus on Israel because that's where part of our team is based, but a lot of what we do is also relevant for people in other countries. Over the last year, we've published various blogs and articles, uh, whether on our website or within social media. We've seen the areas of interest. We've got the most clicks and therefore we've decided to focus on a particular theme for 2023, which is retiring to Israel from the United States. Now, once again, a lot of the topics are US focused and these are relevant for people that are going to retire to other countries. And therefore you can use Israel as an example if you're planning to retire to another country. We do have clients uh, here in Israel. We also have clients in other countries that are US citizens and some of the specifics may change, but obviously a lot of the issues are the same. Okay, I'm gonna go into some detail. We've picked uh, 12 topics uh, for the 12 months of the year, 12 tribes of Israel. And over the next year, we're going to do webinars on, on all of them and uh, join, our, join our list uh, so that we can inform you when we are going to do uh, webinars and write other articles on the topic. Here's some of the major issues and I'll go into uh, some detail. Your social security. If you're eligible in the US, you're eligible anywhere all over the world. And the question is when to take it. The question is if you're eligible, where to receive it. Can you receive it in the new country you've moved to or do you want to receive it in the United States? And also pension offsets. The next issue is when you move to your new country, such as Israel, uh, what are your rights as a new immigrant? There are plenty of, of, of rights and benefits that are offered to new immigrants in Israel and you want to be aware of all of these. Also, there are various organizations that can help you to understand what your rights and obligations are, as well as what benefits you may get. So this is a topic uh, that we'll go into into a lot of detail. And the third question is healthcare. Yeah, do you decide to uh, take healthcare in your new country straight away? If you're a little bit older, do what do you do with your US Medicare? Do you keep it, do you not keep it? That really depends on how much time you intend to spend in the United States going forward. The fourth issue is culture shock. The mentality in Israel is very different to that in the US. It's not necessarily better or worse, but it's very important to under understand how things uh, work here. I lived in Israel before moving to the United States where I spent 23 years. When I came back here, it took me a while to understand that things work differently here. It's not better, it's not worse, it's simply different. Uh, one tip we always say is no is negotiable. Remember that, there's a little bit more flexibility in dealing with people over here, which is actually quite nice. Taxation. This is not complicated provided that you work with good tax professionals. What we see is a lot of people set up Facebook groups or join Facebook groups and try to get free tax advice on the internet. It's not worth it. There are very, very good tax professionals in here, both US accountants and Israeli accountants. Because of the 10 year tax exemption, um, you need to work with a US accountant. It's better to work with them that are based here or based overseas because a lot of the CPAs that are in the United States are not aware of the issues regarding US expats. So if you live in the UK, there's some very good firms over there. If you live in Israel or other countries, you definitely want to uh, pick a, a CPA that focuses on expats. Taking care of elderly parents from a distance. This is a topic we'll go with, we'll deal with in detail. Taking care of unsettled kids from a distance. There are monetary aspects over here. There may be trust accounts. There may be uh, ways to uh, make sure that they don't have a run on the money going forward and these things have to be done at a distance these are all things that are attainable and possible next thing is creating a retirement income stream and connected to this is where you're going to keep your investments generally speaking if you're a US citizen you want to keep your investments in the United States you also have a tax exemption here in Israel for 10 years once you move over here and then the question is uh, how do you create a retirement income stream and then that goes to the next uh, topic which is foreign exchange and money transfer which is the best way if you're living off income generated in the United States with a pension or social security or other income or, or required distribution from your 401k or your IRA, how is it best to get it to Israel? We specialize in some of these issues. And then the last topic is really uh, American citizens that uh, have been uh, here in Israel or, or another country for many, many years have retired locally and are getting local pensions. And what are the uh, implications of this? So once again, we're going to go into a lot of detail on these topics. Uh, we're going to hold webinars. We're going to bring in experts in various uh, 
issues and uh, I just want to say once again two things if you want a dog walker or you want a way to get a good haircut then certainly go onto a Facebook group that uh, is dealing with uh, yeah, making Aliyah to uh, Haifa or making Aliyah to Tel Aviv we know a lot of people in these Aliyah groups have not made Aliyah they've not moved to Israel yet but they're still in the groups so and want to get free advice on everything but when it comes to things uh, such as healthcare such as insurance such as legal issues such as uh, financial issues uh, real estate it really makes sense to work with professionals we will introduce you to some of these people and we will deal with some of these topics in the various webinars have a wonderful holiday period and we look forward to being in touch next year Thank you.